guys, today I'm going to be doing the B Room Cliff Tag. I've already done the Merry Kiss Cliff Tag, so I'll link that below if you missed it. But Christine tagged me to do this video forever ago, and I've been wanting to, and I just like forgot. So here I am now to do it. I've got my little yellow bowl of names, but basically this is like the female version, if you didn't know. I'll put Christine's video below if um, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. I just like pick three names and then I have to choose who I want to be, like I would swap their lives for mine, who I would want to room with, and we'd be like best buds, and then who I would push off a cliff. That one stays the same. I still have to be a murderer. And I also forgot to count. I think I did this last time and I think I just started doing like a bunch of names. So um, we'll see how many rounds I have. So first on the list is Sam from Perks of Being a Wallflower. Annabeth, oh gosh, from the like Percy Jackson Heroes of Olympus series. And Luna, oh no, from Harry Potter. Oh, already the first one, it's hard. Oh gosh. I feel like I always create enemies when I do this tag because people go in the comments and they're like, How could you kill so and so? I'm sorry, okay, I didn't make the rules. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I put very many people, like very many girls that I dislike at all in this bowl. Why did I do that? So I guess I'm going to... I've decided that I'm going to switch lives with Annabeth. Compared to the others, I feel like her life, although kind of dangerous, would be pretty amazing as well. She's with Percy, she is a demigod, her mom is Athena, like, yeah, I don't know. That's a pretty amazing life to me, so I'm gonna have to switch and become her. This is terrible. I'm so, so sorry. I love you so much, but I think I'm gonna have to room with Sam and push Luna off a cliff. And I only say that because I feel like Sam and I could like go to parties and like be best buds and like hang out and like listen to music and like have like just an amazing time. Just like living in the moment. Whereas I feel like Luna might kind of just go off in her own world and I feel like she wouldn't always talk with me and I feel like she might be kind of messy and like our room would be kind of like blah and then I don't know and she's kind of different although I love her I don't know if I want to live with her <laughs> round number two Bella Swan Hazel from the Fault in Our Stars and Melanie from the host Oh goodness, 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 goodness. I think I'm going to switch lives with Bella Swan um, because I'm thinking of Bella from Breaking Dawn. I almost said Breaking Bad. <laughs> no. Just because, uh, okay, spoilers for Breaking Dawn for like five seconds and when I put this down, you can unmute. Um, she is married to Edward. She has a baby that, well, she's not like a babe, she's growing fast. She's like a little girl that's awesome. She's got good friends, she's like immortal, she's beautiful, she is just living life. And the only bad thing is she has to drink blood. Ugh, that would suck. But yeah, compared to these girls, I feel like her life is pretty good at the end of Breaking Dawn. Pretty good, she's sitting pretty, definitely. Okay, you are good to unmute. I think I'm gonna room with Hazel and push Melanie off a cliff. And I'm so sorry, Jared. I'm so sorry. I know you're gonna lose her again. And I know, <laughs> oh gosh, I'm sorry. I just, maybe they'll put another soul in you and you'll come back again. And cause you jumped out of the elevator that one time, you know, it worked out that time. But I just, I can't do that to Hazel. And I think it'd be pretty cool to live with her. I feel like we could just like read books and like chat. And I feel like we could be friends. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stand by my choice. Round three, I think. Yeah? Okay. Mackenzie from the archive. Poppy from I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. And I just grabbed like three. Tiffany from Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. <laughs> I'm gonna choose to trade lives with Poppy. She has a pretty great guy at the end of the book, and she's got a pretty normal life but she's like sitting pretty good. She's got a pretty good job. Um, 
and I don't know, she's just so funny. She's got some iffy friends, but I could just like be gone with them, like we're done, and then move on from them. But I think I would trade with her because I wouldn't want Mackenzie's life. Her life is very hectic, and Tiffany has quite a few problems, so I don't think I would like want to trade lives with her. And I love you, Tiffany, but I think I'm gonna have to cliff you, and I would like to live with Mackenzie. Basically because Mackenzie would hardly ever be there So I would have like a room to myself because Mackenzie is always out in the archive or the narrows and so Yeah, and I would already know about her secret so she like we could just you know Kind of like Wesley and her like we could just chat we could be friends She could tell me I could help her out if need be and it would be it'd be okay I'm sorry Tiffany, and I'm sorry Pat. I think this is round number four. I have Ginny from the Harry Potter series I have Tessa Gray from the Infernal Devices Trilogy my favorites and Eleanor from Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Oh no. This actually took me quite a while to decide but I finally decided I'm gonna switch lives with Ginny um, she is a witch married to Harry Potter and having his babies, and I can't really beat that. Like, how does it get any better than that? It doesn't. So, that means, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Eleanor, I'm so sorry, I had to cliff you, and I wanna live with Tessa, and I'm so sorry, and Park, don't hate me, but I have to make decisions. I really love Tessa and her friends. So I'm hoping they'll stop by the room, you know what I mean? So I can be friends with them, because they're pretty great. I mean, Will and Jim and them, yeah, yeah. I like Tessa. She's, she's my girl. We could talk about books, and it'd be so amazing. Round five, I think? I like how I'm not really keeping track. Um, I have Tris from, let's just say from Divergent. Let's just not even count the other books. Anna, oh no, and Katniss. Oh my gosh. It's like on the battle, like vote Tris or vote Katniss. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna be making some people angry. Ugh, what do I do? Okay, I'm gonna take the easy way out and say I want to be Anna. She is with St. Clair and she has a normal life compared to these crazies over here. So I definitely want to have Anna's life. This is really hard, but I finally decided to room with Tris and push Katniss off a cliff. And maybe she could like catch a branch on the way down or something and save herself. And I'm so sorry Katniss, but I feel like you would be harder to live with than Tris. You're so serious. And I feel like Tris would be more kind and just caring. And I feel like she could like, I don't know, I feel like she'd be nicer to be around. Katniss, you don't seem very nice. If you were like rooming in the Hunger Games, yeah, cause you could like have my back. But just day to day life, I don't really need that. So I'm sorry. I have Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. I have Tally from the Ugly series, oh gosh. And I have Lara Jean from To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Okay, well, it's really obvious that I just really want to marry into the wizarding world of Harry Potter, so, and I really want to be a witch. So I'm going to be Hermione Granger, <laughs> and I'm going to marry, I'm going to be with Ron and have his babies, and I'll be a witch, and I'm going to be awesome, and I'll be friends with Harry Potter. Can't forget that. These are so hard. I really didn't put in any girls that I dislike. Why did I do that? I guess I'm gonna have to room with Lara Jean, and I'm so sorry, Tally. I love you, and I love your series, I love your story, but I'm gonna have to push you off a cliff, and hopefully you can, like, hopefully this is, like, in book three, and you can just not, it won't even phase you. You could, like, grab a branch or, like, save yourself somehow. But freaking Lara Jean, she bakes, and she seems really nice, and she has really cute clothes, and we probably aren't the same size. Actually, I know we're not the same size because she's like 5'1". But whatever. We could maybe share some things like some headbands or something. So you'd be really fun to room with. All right, we have one last round. The final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay. I have Clary from the Mortal Instruments series. Selena from Throne of Glass. And Kath from Fangirl. Okay. All right, who do I want to be? Who do I want to be? I came so close to saying I want to be Selena, Selena because, oh, she, how she's sitting right now at the end of book two. 
Oh, so good. But at the same time, she's got so much stuff going on. In the first book, she was in a like a terrible like a death camp basically, and she's gone through so much stuff. And I don't I don't want to be her because of that. So I'm gonna be Kath from Fangirl. Yes, I'm socially awkward, and uh, but she's not too different than I am now. So that's not gonna be a super huge transition from my life to her life. And she has Levi. So, yeah. And I'll have a huge following for my fan fiction. So that's also really good. But I'm gonna choose to Cliff Clary because I really don't like her that much as a character. She annoys me sometimes. Whereas I freaking love Selena. Selena and I are gonna room together and it's gonna be very interesting because I'm not gonna know if she's gonna come in in like a pretty dress or if she's gonna be covered in blood because she just killed someone. Hopefully people don't come to our room trying to find her. Hopefully I don't like die because of it. But it's, you know, it's a risk and I really like her. I feel like, I feel like we could room. Oh, and right now I could just uh, have who she doesn't have. Kale, Dorian, you know what I'm talking about. Whoever she doesn't get, I could get the other. <laughs> that sounds so creepy, oh god. Okay, well that was the tag. I'm not gonna tag anyone because by now I think a lot of you have already done this, but if you want to do it, definitely do it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!